cataract surgery uh, is uh, has evolved a lot over the years uh, a cataract is uh, just a hardening of the natural lens in the eye uh, we use the natural lens to focus and uh, for those of us who are lucky enough not to wear glasses in childhood our refractive system is perfect in that light coming from the distance gets uh, correctly focused onto the retina. However, in some people, the, the focusing system is not perfect and uh, you can get, uh, if you're short-sighted, the rays of light get focused in front of the retina. If you're long-sighted, rays of light get focused behind the retina. So if that is how your system is based, then you become either long-sighted or short-sighted and you will need glasses to see properly. Now, uh, when, we, uh, when you get a cataract and when you have to have a cataract operation, we take part of that focusing system away from you. The lens that is part of that focusing system is removed. And in the past, we could not replace it with anything. So I think some of us who are old enough to uh, remember our grandparents having very thick glasses after cataract surgery because uh, we had to replace that lens with the same power in glasses. Uh, but now we have the technology to uh, replace the lens we remove uh, in cataract surgery with artificial lens. And we can change the power of the lens to suit your individual need. So even if you're short-sighted before surgery, we can put a, we can alter the power of the lens we put into your eye to make you normal-sighted. Uh, however, the natural lens has the ability to change its focusing power. So when you are young, when you are up to about 40, if you want to see the distance, the eye focuses in a certain way. If you want to read, then the eye has to focus in a different way. It's like a zoom camera. So it, the, your natural lens is so good that in a split second, it can focus from distance to near. So uh, if you are normal sighted, then you don't need reading glasses even to, even to read or to see the distance. You won't need glasses because your lens will do the job for you. However, when you come to around 40, 45, you lose the ability to focus. So gradually your lens hardens and the muscles don't function that well that you can't change the focus that easily. So everyone uh, at some stage of their life, usually after about 40 years, will find uh, it difficult to read if they had good vision for distance uh, and they will need reading glasses. So uh, when we take, your, take the natural lens out, we have to correct the two things. We have to correct the distance and we have to correct the near. And the power of the lens for the two distances or for any distance is different. So for the far distance, it's one power. For near, it's a different power. For intermediate, it's another power. So uh, in the past, we only had one power of lens that we could put in and that was called a monofocal implant and uh, with the monofocal implant you can give good vision for one particular distance however you can't give good vision for all distances so the answer to the question is that some people if they if they have good vision for distance and we put an implant that gives them good vision for distance, then for reading, they will need glasses. Um, if you want to read, then we put a power that will enable you to read. But if you put a monofocal implant, then you can't see the distance. The different lenses we put in uh, are a monofocal implant that will give you good vision for either the far distance or for near or any distance you want, but it doesn't give good vision for every distance. So if I put an implant that gives you good vision for far distance to enable you to drive or watch television well, then for reading, you will need a different, either a pair of glasses uh, to 
read well. Then there are what we call multifocal lens implants. Uh, they give you good vision for all distances. And increasingly, most people uh, opt to have the multifocal implants because that will try and give you as close to the natural vision you had before you started getting uh, uh, being what we call press biopic. Uh, and that would be the best option for some people. No surgical procedure is 100%. Uh, cataract surgery and intraocular lens implant surgery are pretty safe these days because the technology is quite advanced and the equipment we have uh, have also evolved over the years. Uh, and I think we are in a good place now. However, nothing is 100%. So there can be complications at the time you operate and there can be complications after you operate. Uh, so uh, when you come, when you are assessed for cataract surgery, we will look at your eye and discuss with you what uh, potential complications you can get. And uh, for example, if you're very short-sighted, then you are at a high risk of getting complications at the time you're operating. If you have had trauma to your eye and the lens is a bit wobbly, then you have run an increased risk of getting complications. So uh, complications do happen and uh, we do a thorough preoperative assessment to uh, understand your eye and to see what the risks are and uh, what the individual risks are. The uh, monofocal lenses, that's the lens that gives you good vision for one distance, normally gives you very clear vision and uh, you normally don't get glare and halos. Uh, however, with the multifocal implants, with the, because of the design of the lens, you get a little stray light and you can get glare and halos. Uh, that's the main disadvantage of multifocal implants and also in very dim light situations the vision may not be perfect. Uh, however, the, uh, the way you see is controlled by your brain and most people will uh, tolerate the glare and the halos and also over a period of time they will not experience it as much as they did immediately after the operation. So uh, there's a certain amount of effort needed from the patient uh, to overcome these uh, visual symptoms. Yes, the vision is generally as good or sometimes even better than what you had before because the intraocular lens implant we put is a crystal clear lens. So there are, most of the time there are no significant abrasions and uh, people are very happy and uh, they, um, they see colors much better than they had before and people would say the colors are so different and bright. In the long term, there may not, uh, there are, occasionally there are complications, but 99% uh, of the time they are quite safe. Uh, rarely you can get uh, inflammation, uh, long-term inflammation following cataract surgery, but that is very rare. 